So, Sasha, in high school, you were also creating music. Yeah. And like a lot of teens, you also had an after-school job where you were working in a supermarket. Mm -hmm. Who did you serve one day? No Kelly! <laughs> yeah. I remember these are the cutest experience. It's so much fun. What? Go on. Oh, I was on Register 6. And then Kaylee yeah. came the over <laughs> and I was like, please come to me, please come to me. And then he came over, unpacked his groceries and then I said, hello, you're in the Jungle Giants. And then he said, uh-huh. <laughs> and then I said, I make music on Triple J on Earth. And then he was like, okay, cool, I'll check it out. Yeah. And you checked it out. I did. I actually remember that conversation, it was super cute. I told my brother, I was like, have you heard this band? I'm checking it out, like, what do you think? So. What, would, so what did he, he say? He said he's like, he fully knew who you were and I looked like an idiot. Whoa! So. <laughs> <laughs> when was the next time that you two would have seen each other besides that Woolies fateful run in? I think it was it? Big Sound. I saw you play at Big Sound. Oh, really? You, yeah, it was a few weeks before Big Sound when you told me. And then I remember going to Big Sound and seeing you on the lineup. And I went with my brother, who I told him about you. And we went and watched you at the outpost in Brisbane. I and we sat at the, the back and we were like watching you being all like, she's pretty good. So the Jungle Giants, you've done a lot of touring. I've seen you around the world. In mm. fact, we've mm. run into each yeah. other when you've been on tour. You spent a lot of time in the tour bus. You've had some great times in there. In fact, this is a great time that you have had <laughs> in the tour bus. <laughs> Can I just tell you, I know why he looked like this. Every morning in America, Andrew would get up and he would pour himself a bowl of Captain Crunch Cinnamon Crunch <laughs> Cinnamon Toast, toast Crunch, crunch. Hey. and he would pour milk and he it would wasn't just the eat Toast it. Crunch and we kept saying, guys. "Dude, stop eating the Crunch stuff." We have like an insulin crash like 11 a.m. every morning. <laughs> he'd, eat, he'd eat all this cereal and then he'd fall asleep at about 10 a.m. <laughs> Congratulations again on what has been such a startling last year and a half for you. Dribble coming in at number 29 in the Triple J Hottest 100 countdown. Woo. But it hasn't always been smooth sailing because digging deep, when you were 15, you wrote an album which, and I quote, you say is really shit. It's horrible. Why is it horrible? I mastered it on a website and there's glitches throughout it. That's the one I told you to listen to. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. But my manager found me through it, so it did something. It had some magic to it. If you could describe what your vocals sounded like in that horrible album. It's like a shit version of Inner Speaker. A Tame Impala record. <gasps> Sometimes we have to That's make still things pretty we good. Don't like. yeah. <laughs> it's about Yeah, the but when you're 15, I think you should keep those to yourself. Fair enough. <laughs> we wouldn't but be here today. You've got to start somewhere. You're right. You're right. 